This is the exhibit at Widener University with uh, the title of Painting Invisible People. The show is in three parts. The first part is collateral damage, which has to do with social and cultural issues in the United States. It starts off with a self-portrait and an artist statement. And opens with the two children entitled In the Beginning and discusses the way poverty and circumstance play significant roles in the lives of young people which start them on a path that they hadn't anticipated and certainly could not have prepared for. The second piece of work is entitled Sunday Morning at Mamie's Place and it addresses the issues of rural poverty in the United States. There are a lot of significant issues uh, and one of them is the subculture of rural poverty that very few people are involved in and get to know, except the isolated pockets that exist in the United States. And many of the people are never really heard. These subjects don't actually have a voice because they have no mouths. The third painting in the series is called The Glass Box and it deals with the issue of human trafficking. In this particular painting, the woman reaching out through the glass is risking everything because while we cannot see them or acknowledge them because it is a secretive business, they can see us. But the cost of breaking the cover can be very exacting. It's a brutal business. The next painting in the series is called Choice with a question mark. And it affects a lot of women who leave abusive relationships and end up on the street. Sometimes it's the frying pan into the fire. The next series in the paintings is the keepers. I chose these two women because of all of the subjects in this exhibit, the threads of poverty, violence, rape, imprisonment, murder, and discrimination weave the tapestry of their lives like no other group of citizens. And in my own perspective, these women are my heroes. They are truly American heroes. The next painting in the exhibit is of this woman, an elderly woman sitting by a window. A lot of stories could be told here. And I think they have been during the course of the show. It's called Winter Sun. And as Ann Landers says in the commentary, at age 20, we worry about what others think of us. At age 40, we don't care what they think of us. And at age 60, we discover they haven't been thinking of us at all, which may be the case here. The next series in the painting is of a friend of mine and it's entitled, What Dreams May Come, and it chronicles the story of a young man, now a middle-aged man, and his long and patient journey toward self-determination. The last painting in this particular series is also a self-portrait, and it's about 
choices in life. It's called In the Midst of Impermanence. There were two manuals or guides, additional notes to the show, including handouts, which people were free to come in, and which the volunteers at Widener generously provided so that um, even though nobody was here to assist viewers during the course of the show, they could get some additional information if they chose. A beautiful space, a gorgeous room. And there's one more painting that has nothing to do with anything except I chose to put it in the show because a lot of um, issues in the show are around perceptions we have related to poverty, age, place of origin, all kinds of things. This one is a self-portrait and I offered three choices to the viewers of what they would like to call it or name it. And um, I'm not sure which one ended up winning. <laughs> not that there was a prize. The rest of the show is in two segments. The second segment of the show is The Widows of India and it chronicles the story of a group of people that have made the news in certain parts of the world. The BBC has covered them. Um, and it is the story of what happens for women in a culture that is hard for Westerners to understand because we have different belief systems and we uh, have different values. And um, the belief systems of this culture, especially in the Hindu faith, um, have a difficult path for these women once they are widowed. And uh, it's not easy. And I felt I could comment on this particular issue because I'm a widow myself. And I would hope that education and the government support for changing the outcomes for these women in India, and perhaps even the wishes of a widow on the other side of the world who's painting pictures might have an impact. At least that's my hope, that the thought once released will find the people who need to hear it, that there is another way. The third segment of the show is called The Rest of X, or The Refugees in Haiti from Poverty, from cholera from typhoons and earthquakes and every other thing known to man that has been visited on this portion of the earth. And the children have suffered the most. Poverty is their major issue. It prevents them from dealing with a cholera epidemic that has now lasted six, 16 or maybe 12 years, I guess and they cannot eradicate it from their water supply. And these four paintings were from images that have been sent to me over the years by a wonderful volunteer worker in their healthcare system who has gone down there to do what she can and done it well and also chronicled the lives of her patients that come through the health clinic, sometimes lining up a day ahead to be able to get a place in line. So that is the show at Widener, Painting Invisible People. 
And for those of you who did not get to see it, perhaps it can be viewed this way, depending on how effectively I recorded the show. <laughs> 